guys welcome back to another weekly vlog I've really been enjoying my uh, weekly vlogging lately it feels like we're getting closer on a more genuine level which I really enjoy so gonna vlog again this week this morning I just went out for another walk I've been walking um, but yeah went out and picked up Emily's medication I will um, update you on that shortly uh, thank you so much for all of your kind words I did not mean to make you cry in my last vlog um, but I, I mean if I watch someone crying about their pet I probably would cry too uh, and in my vlog before that I cried so hopefully no tears will be shed in this vlog um, I don't mean to be a crying channel but yeah so I went and got her a medication went out for a walk it's getting so nice and now I'm just doing some laundry some dishes I just got off the phone with my friend and she got a horrible haircut she went in from balayage she lives in Sweden where nothing is locked down right now really and they oh man she is like she went from brown to like almost fully blonde and it's like chunky and she's very upset so I was just talking her <laughs> down off a ledge uh yeah I'm just gonna clean up now and um make some lunch the sweater's from Target by the way and I gotta paint my nails too did one of those what the kids are calling skittles manicures but now I've got to update thought I would show you a couple of things that I picked up yesterday from the grocery store especially for my Canadians out there I know finding good food options can be tricky when all you watch is Americans and you guys have everything um, but a couple of things that I picked up yesterday from Loblaws Dominion Superstore depending on where you live firstly I want to say that uh, a bunch of you had recommended that I try the Amy's macaroni and cheese in lieu of my um, RIP blue menu mac and cheese. I have one left in my freezer. It was, I can confirm, discontinued. I've got one left for a special occasion. We'll see. This has been the best frozen mac and cheese that I've tried. It's higher in calorie, higher in fat. Still not as good as the blue menu, but a great alternative. Then uh, finding like bagel thins and stuff is a little bit tricky in Canada. So I've got these blue menu ones. They're, they're 140 calories and bagels generally like 220 calories. So good option if you want a bagel. Then I came across these flexitarian chicken burgers. They also had beef and they're 140 calories and 18 grams of protein, which I thought was pretty great. Six grams of fat. Uh, how's the sodium? I know people really care about sodium. Not bad. I also don't really care about sodium that much. It's not a major concern of mine. And then this uh, is chicken, carrots, corn. They've got some pea protein in there. So pretty decent. They were kind of pricey, but I wanted to try them. I got this protein bread. I just want to say be wary of things that say protein on them. Like I saw protein cheese. It was maybe two dollars more, had less product, and had like one gram of protein more in a serving. So learning to read your labels is important when it comes to this kind of stuff but this actually had more protein in it and some uh good greens and stuff this i was really excited about because i saw it and i was like this sounds amazing but i was expecting it to be really high calorie because it's obviously not listed as like a lower calorie option but 120 calories and it says it is um banana and vanilla flavored ice cream studded with chopped cherries and a rich milk chocolatey coating with peanut pieces. I haven't eaten it yet though, so stay tuned. And then this had a passion fruit on it, so I had to try. These are the President's Choice Fruit Juice Mini Freeze Pops and they're quite, they're kind of small, but a really good sweet treat. And in two, there's 45 calories. And I know like I'm listing off the calories of everything, Calories are not everything. Obviously, you need to consider your um, nutrition and, and, you know, vegetables and stuff. But I just pointed out because that is something that is important to me. But either way, I'm excited about these things. Got a couple of new home things too. I ordered this pillowcase. I already had the pillow. Ordered this pillowcase, it's faux leather from Etsy. I've got a bunch of pillowcases from Etsy actually and generally they come from Turkey. It didn't take too long, but I thought that this color just looked so chic on my chair, which is actually from Home Goods. I got that at Target, or sorry, at Home Goods. <laughs> I got it at Home Goods in Buffalo last year. You would have seen that in a vlog. And then I got this from Walmart during my last vlog last week, actually, I forgot to show you. I thought it was really good for organizing. It's called the Paper Rope 4 Drawer Storage. I can't remember how much it was because we bought everything in like a panic. It was just really busy there, but it wasn't too much. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it or where I'm going to put it, but it's quite small and slim. 
So um, I figured I would get it. It's either gonna go in the bedroom and I might put like socks and underwear in there or some kind of overflow cosmetic-y skincare because I could always use that. Uh, these pillowcases, this pillowcase is from Etsy. These are from the US actually. This one is Turkey. These are obviously iconic. Ikea they look like corn I think I want to replace them I want a new freaking couch if you can give me couch recommendations we're looking for one that has a pullout and storage and a sectional preferably not for th billion dollars because this is like everybody has this couch from Ikea but I hate the color but you it's impossible to find something that's nice that doesn't look like this also sorry if you have this couch it's just I'm sick of it um, because I know literally everybody I know has it. So apologies to everyone I know, but I'm just sick of it. So pull out, want like a lounger and then there's storage under there, which is like we really need it for our apartment. And you girls are in here sleeping. Woo. Woo, Nucky. Oh, look at that. What? Where do you get that sideways face? Oh, Emily did this herself. She did this herself. <laughs> uh, and then I have other pillowcases I was just doing laundry in here so things are a little bit all over the place but uh, actually this <laughs> this pillowcase is from Chapters Indigo and then oh this one haven't finished making the bed yet this one is also a Turkish pillow and we got another humidifier for the bedroom um, these are I got this from Amazon it's was really good it's under 50 bucks and it's quite small and we got one initially for Emily's skin because it was quite dry but we put one in the bedroom for ourselves too and we've really been liking it it's a, a really good faux plant I think from home sense it looks pretty real anyways that's uh that's what's new oh wait this is a really cute faux ivy plant that I also got from Etsy I think this came from South Korea and this it this is from Target too it was like 25 bucks in the kids section and this I got I thrifted actually probably 10 years ago. It's like an old perfume bottle. I thought it was so cute. Look at this jungle cat. You jungle cat. Hi, Nucky. Come here. You outside? Wow, such an outdoor cat. You hunting? Hunting? Hey, don't you scratch that. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma Your bibs. So those beautiful eyes. Oh my god, you're so cute out here, you little nucky. See, they love eggs and toast. There's <laughs> not even any butter on that toast. It's worthless, Rue. Uh, no, no. Rue's like, that's how I like it. Toast with no, nothing on it? Blech. Medication tomorrow. Oh, bless. Oh, oh, Nucky. Oh. She have dirty nose. Yeah. You got dirty nose. Can you get it? Sorry. Dirty nose. Look at Rue. So cozy. <laughs> so we are just out on the balcony now. We are going to be playing kind of like a 
is it like Catan, right? Yeah. But we play it on a website called Colonist, which is problematic. <laughs> Don't like the name, but we've been enjoying the game. I'm really not like a video game person, but this is like a strategy game. And how many times have I won? How many games have we played first? We played four games. We played five games. Four games? Five no. games. Okay, you won three times. Won no, three. I won four times. No, you won three I won times. four times. Three times. I won four Guys, times. Well, Remember I said, say to Ahmed I won four out of four games. And then we played a fifth game. Okay, well, Okay, I believe you. I, I don't know, honestly. I think you won three, but... And what is that ratio? 80%, right? 80%. Yeah, You've won ratio, one game. Uh, Oh, you got, oh, you got the eight. Oh my god, and you got like four. You got four, you got one tree. <gasps> what did you do? I went to place a robber. <laughs> How did I... Maybe it was the largest army card. The largest uh, army card looks just like the robber uh, card. So and who won? I did you won. Every time I win, I'm literally surprised. <laughs> and so are you. Tip, lift up your hat. Show your face a little. This is the face of uh, what? Sorry, it was just good luck. Now that I've won okay, five I, of I, six games. I warmed up now. Can we play? I. <laughs> Wait, did you play for real or what? This is literally. It's the most annoying thing. <laughs> you won. You're better. There, I said. Thank you. Better foresight, better multitasking. Yeah. Okay, just getting ready to make a fun dinner. Two of my favorite foods in the world. We are making hot wings and nachos. And we've been doing wings in the air fryer and we are saving so much money. Like we're not doing takeout really now anyways, but when you go to a restaurant and get wings, they can be like almost $20 in some places in like downtown, which is crazy. And we haven't even found wings we really even like that much. And when you get wings takeout, they're always crap. So we bought wings at Loblaws the other day. They were on sale. We just tossed them in a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of spray oil in the air fryer, 422 minutes. And I've been mixing together a hot sauce and honey, which is so good. And then we're gonna make um, some nachos as well. I love appetizers. guys good morning it is a beautiful sunny day and um, just kind of getting up I woke up at 3 until 5 and then fell back to sleep until 9 o'clock which is unheard of for me so that's very very exciting <laughs> um, but we're gonna give Emily her first round of meds now so basically we got a great diagnosis um, by comparison so she is going to be chronically ill essentially like uh, I can't remember the exact name of it, but she has a chronic inflammation primarily in her nasal area. Um, so we're starting her soon on the other medications, but we're going to do a bout of antibiotics first, which we've done before, but this is a little bit of a different one. Also uh, continuing her on lysine, which is like a supplement um but yeah we got all of her medication in um liquid form which is really great because we've tried pills before and no matter how small they are oh no she's, she's gonna poop no matter how small they are she eats around it and she, her mouth is so big that she just and it falls out of her mouth so we got all them in liquid so we're gonna give her her um her medication now which isn't easy because you gotta hold her down and like inject it into her mouth but again better than pills and yeah so the the vet said that it's not going to be curable but it should be maintainable 
and that's what's most important to me and i'm just glad we don't need to bring her back to the vet or anything it was so expensive and so stressful and it really got me thinking about how grateful i am for canadian healthcare because i can't imagine having to make these decisions about my own health based on the money that i have in my bank account oh my god what? it smells like banana medicine like when i was a kid oh. why wouldn't they put make it like salmon or something my cat's gonna like freaking banana Nucky kid, nucky kid, you're getting dinner meds. I know. Oh, <laughs> oh! Look at that creamy banana mouth. You mad? Rue's concerned. Oh, Rue has it on her mouth. Are you kidding me? How? I have it in your hand now. Why are you acting like it's so, like poisonous, hazardous material? So we are just headed um, on our way out of the city to try and get a little bit of air and there's never been more people outside. It's insanity. They've opened up um, Lakeshore, so there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bikers um, And then we passed by two parks while we were walking. This is like a rental car We passed by two parks and they were Jam-packed and I'll tell you now most of those people don't live together unless like six groups of friends happen to live together um, No one's wearing a mask and I understand like outside you don't need it as much but still for me wearing a mask is like a sign of respect almost and from what I've heard a lot of it is not about protecting yourself it's about protecting others and um, for me like I never want to make anyone feel uncomfortable around me if I'm not wearing a mask but at the same time I feel now like everyone has just gotten bored of this and they're not no one I don't know like it makes me feel self-conscious to be out wearing a mask when no one else is like I'm some kind of crazy crazy person like yeah. I'm like I'm I don't know overreacting when no one else everyone's else is just out chilling yeah it's weird and, and I think about healthcare workers and people who work in grocery stores and janitors and nobody's can wearing a mask. Canada Post people everybody all these people who are working their butts off now and who, if there's another uptick and nothing has slowed down in Ontario in terms of cases, which people are attributing a lot to probably Mother's Day, um, then they're gonna have to take care of us. Um, and a lot of the a lot of people are saying as well that things are opening up because there's space in ICU again and things like that. It's like, I don't wanna be taking up that space. So, but then again, I am out right now seeing all of this. And if I was at home and doing my absolute best and staying home completely, I wouldn't even be seeing this with my own eyes. Because you see people going to beaches and being like, why is there so many people at the beach or on this plane? It's like, well, you're on the plane or you're at the beach too. So that is why we are driving out of the city to be able to try and find a place so that we don't bother anybody and no one bothers us. Um, whether or not that happens, we'll see. But um, yeah, it's, it feels really good to be out getting a little bit of, um, a little bit of sun I don't know it's just a really hard time and everybody's dealing with it differently but ultimately I'm just trying to make sure that you know I might not be doing the absolute best job but I want to feel like I'm not contributing to the problem in a big way so yeah. I don't know it's, it's hard to know what to do really but I, I wouldn't feel comfortable meeting up with friends or anything right now that's for sure Nanner time. Hey, Gonna hold her head back a little. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
That was a good one. That was pretty good. Okay, free to go. How about a treat, everyone? Everyone's mad. Here, Riv. You went too far. Oh, relax. I'm gonna calm down. <sighs> man, oh man. So I'm shocked, but not shocked. <laughs> These are all of my face masks and I just divided them up because I had them all kind of stuck in this drawer and this is all getting really full here. This is just a, a small Alex from Ikea. So we've got like some medication in here. This is Nems's stuff. This is like overflow skincare for me. This was face masks. And then this down here is hair and they're all getting really stuck. So I decided to put face masks in here. So I'll show you some of my favorites. This These are like overnight type masks. So. I really love this sort of newish one from Laneige. This is the Sika sleeping mask. I think this is good for all skin types, but it's heavier than their original sleeping mask, which is also really nice if you have super oily skin and hate like anything on your face. Uh, another good one is from Indeed Labs. This is a really great hydrating overnight mask. Uh, I quite like this one from Vichy too, actually, the Hialu mask, and I just started testing this one out. It is the Ren Overnight mask, so this one's going to be a little bit more like an exfoliator, but an overnight type of thing. Then in here I have like my acne and sort of clay masks. I love the Ulla Henriksen Cold Pore Plunge. One of my favorites that's super affordable and almost done is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask. Then moving over here, these are like more hydrating type masks. So this is a great one from The Body Shop. It's the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. It's one of the first like hydrating masks I ever tried. And I would say it's a pretty close dupe to this much more expensive one from Lancome, which is like obviously delightful. And then I do also quite like this one from Kiehl's. Kiehl's, actually I've got a big mask from Kiehl's too that's clay. I'm not sure where that is. Um, I really love their white clay, but this is the Avocado Nourishing Hydrating Mask. Then when it comes to kind of like brightening and exfoliating, these are my favorite types. So the Amarovitsa Silver Skin Savior is amazing. Then I really love this one too from Fresh, the Lotus Preserve rescue mask Ula Henriksen fat glow facial is great I've got some like um, physical exfoliators or kind of a combo so the vitamin C this is like a powder or vitamin C powder then um, baby facial from drunk elephant is incredible I really want to try the decium kind of version but that's not available in Canada uh, the remove powder exfoliator from Clarins uh, Dermalogica microfoliant this is nice too and drugstore the neutrogena bright boost too so yeah this is i know an insane amount of masks but you know youtube life if you want options from me you're also gonna have to get <laughs> a disgusting amount of inventory but yeah glad to have this and this set I saw on my receipt I found my Walmart receipt I think was $32 for this little stand so I thought that's a pretty great deal who's an assistant she stayed here <laughs> I know she came out yesterday and hung out with me for a while too Well, that is it for me. I've just been cleaning up all morning. I kept my cleaning momentum going after the face masks. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.